friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I have some really fun thrifted uh, pieces for you today that I just want you to see. I can't wait to show you the transformation. So let's get right into it. I found this basket at Goodwill. I thought it was such a unique shape and look to it and I thought that I could maybe make it look a little darker, a little more vintage. It only had a few little spots that were a problem on there that were an easy fix. So I went ahead and mixed up some of my uh, antique wax with some black paint. It's mostly antique wax. It's a little bit of water and a very little bit of black paint. It doesn't take a lot. It's highly pigmented. And I mix it all together and it gives me this nice uh, darker stain that the dark stain or the paint will sit down into the crevices and it will grab onto certain spots in the the wood of the basket and it will just darken it up in places and then it will, it will also keep it light in others so it just gives it a brown tone and then black in between and I really like the look of it and it looks aged and vintage so we're gonna go ahead and do the whole basket with this I do the whole thing. I started at the bottom just to make sure it was what I wanted to do and I really liked how it looked so I'm just going to go ahead and do everything handle and all. So I brush it on and then wipe it back with a dry rag and then I'm going to go around and fix the two little spots that there are on here with loose pieces of the basket. So just adding a little bit of hot glue and just gonna hold that down until it is stuck down well. I wanna put a liner on the inside and I have a bunch of this uh, burgundy and cream uh, colored material. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that, glue that around the top so I'm going to do the right sides together here so when I flip it back into the basket it will uh, have a nice clean uh, trim around the top and it will look nice. So I just go around the whole thing with some hot glue and stick it down. Once I go all the way around, I just tuck in the material and I have it a little bit long so I'm going to have to go back and uh, all I do is just cut that off and then rip it down. I'll show you how I do that. And then I glue the rest of that across the top just to give it a nice finished look. So I glue across the top edges where it didn't quite get stuck down very well. So I put a little glue there and then I just pull up on that material just a little and stick that down. It makes it look nice and finished. I've had this picture frame in my stash for a while. It was plain wood, I believe, if I remember right. And I saw it and I just love the deep frame on it. So I brought it home and I painted it burgundy and then tucked it away in my stash and didn't do anything else with it. But I like to put on these little feet that I have. I've got these little uh, beads that I got, I guess you'd call them. Uh, and they look like feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the bottom and then glue these on to give it a just to raise it up and I think it will make the tray look really cool with these feet on it. So what I'm doing is taking a drill bit that is the same size as my little uh, foot that I have there and I drill that down onto the bottom of my 
picture frame. So it's going to fit nice and tight and I'm going to use the wood glue that I have there which is Gorilla Glue and I'm going to glue those in so they will stay in really nicely. Once I got the feet all in, glued in, I took some sandpaper around the top and wanted to distress the picture frame just a little bit. And then I'm going to take some antique wax and I'm going to go over the feet and darken them up a little bit. So I'm just going to put that on there and then go back and wipe them back down so that they're not so dark but they have a little bit of a stained look to them. have this cool bread box that I wanted to do something with but I had to wait till I had gone to the store and got some wood filler and I'll show you what I'll do with that in a little bit but if it's a really nice uh, bread box it just is a little bit um, more beat up than I want and so I'm gonna go ahead and staple the back on there it's a little bit loose so it just took a couple staples to get that to stay in and then I'm going to clean it all up and get painting. So the paint that I'm using is Kills Chalk Paint. This is a platinum ring, it's called. It's a bluish gray color. And I really love using this. I got this on clearance at Walmart and I thought I would take a chance and see and I, I've used it actually quite a bit. Uh, I don't think I've ever used it and not put any antique wax on it because I really like the look of the antique wax but we're gonna go ahead and try um, putting it on this bread box today and see what we can come up with. I did do the whole box inside and out. The inside was stained, so I decided to go ahead and paint it. So, uh, and I did two coats on the whole thing. Now the front didn't need to be done, but I really thought that I should because I am gonna be sticking some wallpaper border on there, so I thought it would help it stick. Now this is wood filler. It goes on pink, and then when it's dry, it turns like an off-white color. So this is what I had to wait and go pick up at the hardware store. And I wanted to fill in these, uh, It's this was a handle, but I wanted to do something different. So I filled this all in with that wood filler and it did a great job. I used a spoon and just stuck it in there and then I just used something uh, flat and hard to um, kind of flatten it out and get it as best that I could. Now, it was pretty well flat, but I went ahead and took some sandpaper and sanded it down a little bit and then wiped it down. And now I'm going to put my wallpaper border on. I had this given to me by a family member, and I it's just beautiful wallpaper border. So I wanted to use this. I thought it went well with the paint that I had. So I'm going to use this on the front of my bread box. I think this is going to dress it up a lot. Um, and look totally different when it's done than the original. So I'm just putting it on and then I'm trying to get it where I want it and then I go ahead and trim it with the scissors on both ends and then just 
pushing it down and getting all the air bubbles out and making sure that it sits nice and flat. Then I'm going to take my razor blade and I'm going to go across the bottom and the top and do a nice fairly straight cut across there to get this to fit just right. This has a little bit of an edge around the very top of the bread box so I was able to kind of follow that with my uh, razor blade and just go right across the top there and then pull it off. It worked really well. And even if it wasn't completely straight I was okay with that because it's supposed to look like an old vintage piece when I'm done hopefully and I um, it's okay if it's just a little bit off and I think I did have a few little pieces there but you really can't tell and if you do it just looks like part of the bread box. So I cut those off and then I have this really cool handle that I wanted to put on uh, just a black iron looking handle and so I'm just making sure that it's where I want it um, and just measuring the sides in from the top to make sure it's on there straight and then I'm trying to decide do I really want it there or do I want it up higher I wasn't sure I kind of liked it down here a little so I had to go ahead and remeasure and uh, make sure that I um, am getting it in the right spot and I'm just going to take a marker and mark my holes for my screws and then I'll just drill a little hole to put my screws in. Because the screws that I used are silver, I decided to go back with some paint, paint those up black so that they would blend in really nicely with the handle and it worked very well. When I spray it uh, with a sealer, I'll make sure that I spray that really uh, heavily so that it doesn't chip off. So the next thing I'm going to do is distress the paint that I just put on and made it look so perfect. Um, I'm just going to go back and go all around the edges and then across the top some and just give it a distressed aged look. This is the Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer that I use. I sprayed the whole box with this sealer and then I'm going to go ahead and put my antique wax on. This way I can uh, control how much gets on my box. If I want more I can put more on there um, but I put it on heavily and then I go right ahead and wipe it back and it leaves a nice coating of the brown and just looks very aged and vintage. you loved those transformations let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite as always please if you haven't already like share and subscribe if you want to see some more thrifted upcycled projects check out these videos here and have a great day